Are we live? We're live. Well, we welcome everybody. My name is Kurt Beavers, and thanks for joining us tonight. And I'm sorry if any of you had any difficulty with registration. It was uh, Zoom. Zoom does things in a couple of different ways, and so um, you had to register for this webinar in case we had a larger group of people. So um, thanks for joining us. I'm in Atlanta, Georgia, and I'm a national marketing director with Juice Plus, and we're blessed to be on the phone tonight with James Ketchum, who is with Edge Theory. And I got to meet James through my friend, Joe Strattinger. And Joe uh, is one of the founders and owners of the company Edge Theory. And they've done some amazing things um, since starting in the whole digital arena. And uh, James has been with Edge Theory since the company's inception. He's currently the head of a product we're going to talk a little bit about tonight called Soundboard. And um, Soundboard is an amazing platform that kind of is a crutch for those of us that um, want to be good on social media but might need a little bit of help finding the right kind of content. And um, so what I wanted to do was to kind of open it up for James, and he's going to um, just drive you through some um, basics of best practices on social media. I know I always have a lot of questions because social media is a moving target to say the least. It's hard to believe that um, – we think about Facebook as kind of the old school, something that we did that was the first social media platform, but believe it or not, Facebook's only like 12 years old. I remember it just recently celebrated their 10th anniversary. And to think of all the things we've seen evolve with Facebook over the years. And I remember when I first got on Facebook, um, what drove me to social media was my involvement in my church because our youth program and our youth pastor and our kids, they were all using this, thing called Facebook to communicate and I remember getting on there at first and I was an early adopter because that's been you know nine ten years ago and but it always just seemed like people were sharing if you remember the origins of Facebook oh I had a great hamburger for lunch and then it was hmm. I just went shopping and it you know everybody was just kind of almost journaling every movement they made in life and then it kind of became the place to you know see a picture of a child's birthday or a friend's wedding and now, um, believe it or not, with over a billion people on Facebook, James will, James will probably have some stats. You won't believe this, but the fastest growing um, demographic on Facebook is actually the grandparent age demographic. I mean, so we've got adoption from the teenagers to the elderly uh, using Facebook. And then there are lots of other social media platforms, too. But. Um, I, when I first found out about it, I decided I was all in. I actually hired a Facebook social media consultant to work with me for 90 days. So that it said, I said, if I'm going to use this tool, I'm not going to let it waste my time. I'm going to use it wisely. And fortunately, you don't have to pay a consultant for 90 days to do that. That's kind of what Soundboard does for you and what these guys at Edge Theory are experts at. And I'm very grateful that the Juice Plus company has um, kind of linked arms with them to be a um, – a third party resource for us to um, be more efficient and effective on social media. So James, I'm going to turn it over to you. Sounds great. Thank you. Uh, so as Kurt said, my name is James Ketchum. It was so good to connect with so many of you at conference. That was my first time to be there and a uh, wonderful experience. Uh, you know, before we get started, I, I say this in a number of my trainings, but it's true. And, and I like to affirm you all in what you are doing because I am a uh, long-term, long-time Juice Plus consumer, but I'm not in the business. Um, but I have had the pleasure of working not only with many of you in the field, but also the home office for the last uh, two and a half years while we've been working on this project. And we work with a number of brands, and I do soundboards for other direct sales organizations. And Juice Plus stands head and shoulders above the rest. I'm not just saying that. It's true because the way that you all operate individually and the way you operate as a company is very missionally minded and mission driven in that you do not lead with the product and you do not lead with the business opportunity. You lead with caring about helping other people get better and reach their you know, maximum uh, healthy living potential. And that comes through loud and clear uh, in the way that you all operate and in the way that the home office operates. And so many kudos to you. Uh, the soundboard 
we want you to think of the soundboard as almost an outgrowth of that because as Kurt said, there are a billion people, you know, a sixth of the world's population is on social media. And we want you to be able to grow your business through these platforms that are a little bit hard to navigate, can be weird, um, but the conversation potential is there, okay? And so we want you to be able to come across as, as that missionally minded person, and we want to equip you to do that, okay? So that's why we're here tonight. I want to tell you about all the resources at your disposal, uh, but to kick things off and have a little fun, uh, we are going to give away an Apple Watch. Uh, so if you have signed up for the soundboard in the past, please email me and I'll give you all my contact information at the end. Uh, and I can add you to this particular drawing. You can sign up for the soundboard through your virtual office. You might've discovered it there in the past. Um, but if you sign up through this particular link, you may or may not be necessarily, you know, in, uh, Kurt's make a life team. I know that there's a lot of different teams and many of you may be leaders of your own teams with different names. But this simply, this link ties you to tonight's presentation and makes it easy for me to track uh, registrations based on that. So just a little fun aside, um, and you know, I know many people will probably watch this uh, recording later, so we'll, we'll keep this open for a month and I'll, I'll keep Kurt up to speed on everything, uh, but love to give away uh, a watch. So that's a little fun incentive there. Now in thinking about where we're headed, okay, uh, we live in a conversation economy at Edge Theory. That's why we built the company. We are a conversation media company. We believe that conversation is the number one asset that you have going for you uh, when it comes to getting to know other people and telling your healthy living story and you know eventually uh, selling some products. So we want to leverage that across these various social media channels. So we're going to talk a little bit about these things tonight. Uh, and Kurt and I will have uh, discussions about uh, the interest level, uh, but I also have a six-week in-depth social media training uh, course that I run for a number of teams. I'm in the middle of uh, doing it for Jamie Kinsey's team right now. I just wrapped it up for the Pajama Regional team, and we unpack a lot of these ideas uh, that you see here before you, but everybody wants to grow their business on social, okay? N no surprises there. But that doesn't happen in a vacuum, just like it doesn't happen in real life without you working towards it. So these five pillars are where we feel like we've got to take you for this to be the outcome, okay? Because you can't just post and sit back and expect people to say, oh my goodness, you tweeted, I would like to buy something from you. Uh, you know, that's not how it works, all right? So when we're thinking about education, we certainly want to think through uh, the difference in the value of all these different platforms. Uh, you've got a number of examples up here of platforms that you're probably very familiar with, like Facebook, but Facebook has a one-to-one -one messaging service that's a social media platform, although it is a private one-to-one -one kind of service. Uh, you've got texting here, same idea. It is a social media in that you can share all kinds of things now via text but it's one to one or one to a few. Whereas, you know, the LinkedIn and the Twitters and the Facebooks of the world are a one to many. Each one of these things has its own place and purpose. And just having a, a profile on Facebook and saying, well, uh, that's probably good enough um, is, is selling yourself short on the ability to connect with new people. So we want to teach you how to use all these things. From a content perspective, the, the soundboard is designed to provide healthy living content that is non-branded. We do not mention Juice Plus products. We do not mention uh, the brand in any way, shape, or form, apart from what I'm going to show you tonight. Uh, we, ha we are now able to put Shred 10, Healthy Living Revolution, and Mission Driven Model content on the soundboard, and I'll show you that in a little while. We're pretty excited about that. Uh, but all, everything's optimized for mobile. You can run it all through your phone. And the whole point of it is to make you an authority to your audience. We are not trying to ram product, you know, down anybody's throat. We are trying to help you zoom out from the product and tell a better healthy living story. Uh, and this is something that Kurt and I have talked about, uh, apart from these calls, how important this is, like it or not, you are a business owner, therefore you are a brand. You are, the way that you come across on these platforms matters. Uh, you cannot have an incomplete profile or be 
uh, having you know completely out of date contact information and photos on your profile and expect to be taken seriously as a brand. Also, you cannot only talk about one thing. Your the totality of you needs to come through uh, in these social media channels, and so we want to teach you not only how to get your profiles looking good, but how to uh, figure out who your audience is, which leads us to these social media tools are, they provide so many incredible resources about your audience, about your demographic and who you're talking to so that you can better uh, target them and better um, appeal to where they are. Because remember, we're, we're not in a, in a society that advertising uh, works on the premise that, well, I'm just going to talk about how great my brand is all the time. That doesn't work anymore. What, where we have to be is we have to go and talk to people where they are and what they care about. And social media makes it easy because we can find out what they care about. So we can go enter those conversations. So all of those things lead to conversation. But I hear so many people say, wow, James, you know, the soundboard's really cool. I've been posting, I've been getting um, noticed, I've been getting retweeted, I've been picking up followers. What do I do next? And so that's the other piece is we've got to teach you how to respond and engage. Again, teaching you the mechanics of these platforms so that the conversation can flow and be natural. Um, and so that uh, when it comes time to converse with people, it flows and it's easy. Okay, so that's the big picture of where we want to go with all these things. I want to talk a little bit about the value of Facebook and Twitter especially. We don't have time to dive into all of these tonight. Um, but most of you all, if not all of you, are on Facebook at least as consumers. Okay, so we don't need to spend a lot of time in how to make a post. But Facebook serves a purpose and then Twitter serves a different purpose. And so I want to do a little compare and contrast here. Facebook is... Think of Facebook as the backyard barbecue where your friends come and maybe some friends of friends, but everybody has some loose connections. So think of your friend network like that. Okay. So when you make a post, you're probably making a post to just your friend network and it, it's kind of like Vegas. You know, what happens on Facebook stays on Facebook as far as it being a closed system, unless you are intentionally making public posts which not everybody does, which is fine. But when you're talking to your Facebook audience, you're talking to people who already know who you are, know something about you, and that's why they accepted your Facebook friendship request, right? So the value of posting healthy living content to those people is to have people see this stuff that you post and notice and, and be able and be comfortable to ask you questions about it. Uh, and so when you are making, uh, you know, when you're posting articles mixed with posting stuff about your life and you're commenting on other people's posts, you're not posting stuff about the product necessarily, but when uh, the conversation gets there, because you have been posting this healthy living stuff, it makes it easy for you to turn the conversation to the product when it's appropriate because it won't come out of left field because people know you're very interested in, in healthy living. So what the soundboard does for you is it provides those articles, videos, and images so that you don't have to spend time digging for stuff. In just a few clicks, you can have stuff going out every day um, or as frequently as you want. Now, Twitter is a totally different animal. And so many people think, okay, well, I have a presence on Facebook. That's enough. I don't also need a Twitter account because it's the same thing. But if, if Facebook's the backyard barbecue, Twitter is the cocktail party where nobody knows each other, but everybody's got something interesting to say. And so what you've got to do is learn to sidle up to people and insert yourself in conversations that are already going on. Because again, you are an authority on healthy living. You do have something to say. And so the purpose of Twitter is bigger than just your audience and just your followers. Yes, it is important to grow a follower base on Twitter. But everything that happens on Twitter is totally public, okay? Twitter's a flat platform, and that's where the misconception comes in. Yes, Twitter's a social media platform and that you grow followers, but it's also a content distribution platform and a publishing platform, okay? Because 
your follower count is almost immaterial. And I want to hop over here and show you what I mean by this. All right. So we're logged in. We're on Twitter um, as this is the Juice Plus helper handle that I run to help people with soundboard questions. And I have com composed a search here just for hashtag healthy. And we can get into hashtags um, on another uh, training call. But basically what a hashtag does is it's a conversation cataloging system. Okay, so what happens is when you use a hashtag, you what you have to say about that topic gets included inside a larger conversation, and everybody who uses that hashtag shows up in the search, regardless of whether or not you follow that person. Okay, so this is where having a presence on Twitter is a really powerful thing. And Twitter allows outside systems like the one we have at Edge Theory to tweet for its users on behalf of their users. So if you sign up for a soundboard account, I can automatically send tweets out every single day through your handle to your audience and to the larger Twitterverse. Here's a perfect example. This is Debbie. Uh, Debbie's tweet went out a couple of days ago. I just found this in the stack. I wanted to show you this one. So Debbie had a retweet and three likes on this. So there's four potential opportunities to connect based on who connected with, with Debbie. But I wanted to point this out because uh, Debbie's done a great job with her profile here. Debbie has 272 followers on Twitter, which in the Twitter verse would be considered a smaller account. But it doesn't matter because look who is almost right next to Debbie in the tweet search, okay? Just scroll up a couple of tweets. We've got a health blog here. Uh, another individual tweeting about almond milk, but then look what popped up right here. Mayo Clinic. Mayo Clinic has 1.5 million, fo million followers. So the point is that your, your follower base on Twitter, as I said, is almost immaterial because of the way that Twitter connects you into these larger conversations. And so what we're trying to do for you at Soundboard, because we're constantly looking for active trends, active hashtags. We're trying to get you included in these conversations because people don't know who you are and people probably don't know what Juice Plus is, but there are huge conversations going on in Twitter every day about gluten-free recipes and family fitness ideas. Like this is National Family Fitness Month. So if you're on Soundboard, we're tweeting for you about that because we want you to be included in that conversation. So what you're going to find is, as we're tweeting for you, you are going to pick up new and organic followers, people who you have no idea who they are. But that's a good thing because you're here to make new connections. Twitter is not the place where you share naked baby photos, okay? It is not the place where you have a conversation on the platform with your soulmate. It's too public. And you hear about politicians getting in trouble all the time because they don't understand that concept. But it's a good thing that everything is public because we want you to be found. Now, here's one more quick cool thing. I've, I've done a search for hashtag healthy on Google. Let's say that somebody doesn't use Twitter, doesn't care about it. Twitter is indexed by Google. Look at the first thing that comes up. It's actual tweets. People can read your tweets and get connected to what you have to say without even being on the platform. It's, it's really amazing and really powerful. And, you know, Kurt brought up a great point before we started recording, you know, like it or not, Donald Trump won the election because he owned the conversation primarily on Twitter. And you may not be on Twitter. You may not follow him on Twitter, but I guarantee you, you've read his tweets because they show up in news stories every single day. These little things are so portable. Uh, so it's a very powerful and public like that. Okay. Shoni asked, are all tweets going to be the same? No. One of the great things about the Edge Theory platform, and we do this uh, for multiple brands and businesses every day, is our platform creates massive amounts of volume. Uh, and we create content at scale based on templates. So there are um, themes that we're going to revisit, of course. Whole food, more fruits and veggies, uh, fitness ideas, business tips, small business things. But we put it in our system and I can create hundreds of thousands of, of variations on a theme. And so that um, the same stuff, we are not sending the same stuff out uh, across 
everybody's candles because you're right that would be repetitive and, and boring and dull but we have we have hundreds and hundreds of thousands of things uh to, to pull from and we're always adding to it so great great uh question there all right so twitter as i said allows auto posting now we're going to hop over to soundboard here i want to show you a couple things Again, the soundboard, the purpose of it is to provide relevant, compelling, compliant content uh, for you on a day-to-day -day basis so you don't have to spend time looking for stuff to post, All right? So let's hop over here. I'll show you real quick. Um, so we're at this link that you keep seeing on all these slides, makealife.juiceplus.vip. So you know you're in the right spot when you see that. There's lots of information here. Uh, that of course you can take the time to read. We're not going to read it all right now, but I did want to point out a couple of things. One is uh, social 30. You've got this button at the top and the first time that you visit the, uh, the website, you will get a little pop up asking if you would like the social 30 for free. The social 30 is something that I wrote uh, before conference. We launched it during conference and it is a totally free ebook and it, it's, it's kind of playing on the Transform 30 or the Shred 10 idea, but it's, it's a guidebook, something that you can do every single day for 30 days, tips every day on something you can do that day to grow your business on social media. So it's, it's a day by day guide. It's going to have um, thoughts that if you do it once, you won't have to think about it again. And then it's stuff to, to revisit. It's valuable to think through if you went through the social 30 several months in a row. It's totally free, no strings attached. Take a look. Um, I'm pretty proud of it. There's an accompanying video series. So I've got videos every single day unpacking the ideas and showing you how to do uh, what's in there. So that is there. As an 11 year educator, I must say, it's a pretty good curriculum. <laughs> Okay, so real quick, let me show you what the, pri the plans can do, just so you're clear. All plans come with a 10-day free trial. Uh, so kick the tires, tell us what you think. Uh, for $5 a month, we will tweet for you. These tweets go out two to three times a day. They have good-looking images. They're you know, compelling content. Many times, but not always, they link back to your specific Juice Plus site. We are not sending people to the uh, juiceplus.com site. So Tess says, where can you find the book? Just go to uh, this link, and I'll pull it back up in a minute, but the link is makealife.juiceplus.vip, and just hit this social 30 button, and that will take you there. So for $5 a month, we'll tweet for you, okay? $10 a month, this is where most people go because most people want content that they can post on these other platforms. So Facebook, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Instagram, None of those platforms allow for automatic posting from an outside service, okay? So what we are providing for you is content that you can easily pull from to post whenever you want so you don't have to find stuff. So that's what this means, the suggested post. You're getting access to the soundboard that I'm about to show you. For $15 a month, uh, we provide the access to all that content plus we tweet for you on your behalf. So that includes the automatic posting as well. You are welcome, Tess. All right, so whatever plan you pick, we, we're gonna hit try it now, and we've gotta create an account here, all right? So please give us your name, and we need a nice email, a valid email from you. I do this a lot, so I gotta make up a new one. And then it's gonna ask for your website. So you have two choices, you can, give us your Juice Plus site if you want, or if you're one of these folks that uh, Juice Plus is part of a larger brand that you are building, then you can drop that site in here, whatever you wanna do. And then of course we need a password and we hit create account. Now this brings us back to this screen where it's gonna ask for a monthly or annual. Annual, of course, two big ups, upsides. One, you get two months for free, Two, if you sign up for an annual plan, um, I will reach out to you uh, or somebody on my team and we will give you a free half hour, one-on-one, -on -one, social media, anything you need, any questions answered, Zoom call to make sure that you are up and running. 
Now, a uh, quick caveat with annual subscription. When you click on annual, even though it looks like it prorates this per month, um, it is it does charge for the full amount after the 10 day free trial. Okay, so please be aware of that. So you hit subscribe, it's gonna have a little pop up here with your credit card and I'm not gonna do that because I don't want my credit card on YouTube and then you're off to the races, okay? So now let's talk about how to sign in. So anytime you wanna sign in to the soundboard at this point, you just come back to the site and you click sign in and um, I highly recommend you bookmark this on your desktop or on your phone. But what you're looking at here is all the content that you can pull from and share anytime you want to across all these platforms. So find an article that interests you. You click on this. Now we've put our most popular share buttons at the top. We have more platforms, uh, but most people have gotten to where they just pick an article by the title and hit share and go. But if you would like to preview the article, we do have the whole thing here. So this is obviously a workout article. And then you come to the bottom and we've got uh, suggested text. So not only do we provide the article for you, but we also provide what to say. That's it's a suggestion. You can use it if you want to, you don't like it, you can change it. We keep lots of suggestions here. You can add to it if you'd like. But now we have all these buttons down here. You pick from one, you click on whatever platform you want. It's gonna auto copy this text. We share. I'm waiting for Facebook.com. All right, there it goes. And then paste in the suggested text. If you'd like to add a hashtag or something, you can. If you want to add something that's personal to you, you can. And then I'm going to do this because I do this all day and post. So in three clicks, we've got some good looking healthy living content going out. All right, pretty straightforward. Now we've got Facebook for groups here. So if you manage uh, a business page or a customer group or something like that, you can use this separate widget for that. Of course, Facebook Messenger is a great uh, customer retention idea. If you wanna shoot somebody uh, a Facebook message and say, hey, saw this and was thinking about you, uh, that's pretty easy. If you wanna add to what we're already doing for you on Twitter, you can. Uh, LinkedIn, if you're not on LinkedIn, it's a great platform to, to connect business-minded. You're probably not going to make any you know, personal sales on LinkedIn, but I think it's a great place to treat it like kind of like a chamber of commerce and maybe connect on the business level with some local business owners. Um, then, of course, you've got email, and then Pinterest, we've got some images on the, on the soundboard to share. We'll get to these two guys in a moment. But basically, you've got here, we've got over a thousand pieces of content in the soundboard at this point. Uh, if you want a specific topic, you know, if you've got uh, customers who are busy moms with um, kids on the go trying to feed their kids, you know, in a healthy way, uh, you can look for a specific topic, find an article. Um, of course, we got Dr., I mean, Mr. Stephen Ritz's book went out today, so some content there. Uh, but you can just search for stuff by by content or topic. You know, if you've got somebody who's gluten free, send them a recipe. And so just you can be thoughtful about those kinds of things. Let's see, we got a question here. Okay, I will definitely get to buffer in a moment. Good thought, Lucy. Uh, so we also have we have some folks who say, you know, I like all this content, but I don't necessarily want to only share articles so we've got some images here so uh, i've denoted that some of these are healthy living revolution i had a great conversation with brian rose at conference so he, he gave me the big thumbs up to put healthy living revolution on here um, we've got some shred 10 stuff but these basically work the same way as a uh, facebook article share so you've got a nice looking image got a hashtag to go with it share on facebook and so now instead of an article, you've got a good looking image going out. So that's pretty straightforward. Now I wanna switch the view for a moment to my phone because there's something we just rolled out last week that I'm really excited about. And um, this is 
something that we think is going to be great for customer retention. I worked very closely with uh, Brian Rose on this as well to um, facilitate all this. So many thanks to Brian. So we're going to go ahead and visit the soundboard on our mobile device here. Oh, log me out. All right, now at the top right, we've got an icon, these three lines. So I'm going to tap that. And notice we've got several things here. I want to show you topics. Okay, so we've started arranging content by topics. And Shred 10 is one of our topics here. So what we've got is we went through the Shred 10 system guide, and there is some suggested texts for sending to your Shred 10 customers on a day-to-day -day basis. We have all that now built in here so that in just a couple of clicks, you can stay on top of Shred 10 customer maintenance uh, more easily. So we've got our day zero preparing. And then for the first five days, you'll notice there is a morning, a midday, and an evening text. And then when you get down to days six through 10, there's one suggested text per day. Now, of course, you have the ability to manipulate these, but when you're on mobile, I'm gonna show you, let's just pick one here. When you're on your mobile device, a different button pops up, and that green button in the bottom right is texting. All right, so the suggested um, text that goes with this is straight from the Shred 10 system guide. And so all you have to do is hit text. And so this is our day two, midday. Um, and I'll just send it to myself here because otherwise someone's going to be confused. <laughs> so you just pop send. And you've got a nice looking text and image go out uh, with it. So, of course, I'm sending it to myself. So, I'm sending it and receiving it here at the same time. But it's a pretty cool way to stay on top of uh, your Shred 10 customers. All right. So, we can uh, visit that by going to topics and then Shred 10. So, we also have some stuff in there that uh, is for um, kind of generating interest, but we've got all of the existing customer stuff loaded up front. And then if you continue to scroll down, uh, we have the uh, for potential customer stuff here as well. Uh, so we've got the Shred 10 guidelines, uh, some of the pricing packages, and some of the promotional materials there. So we're pretty excited about that feature just from a, again, from a customer make, customer maintenance uh, standpoint, just to make it as easy as possible uh, to use that material that's provided in the Shred 10 system guide. One other cool feature I want to show you that's, that's exclusively available on mobile is using Instagram. So Instagram is a very closed system uh, compared to all the others. There is no share to Instagram button. And so here's how to use the soundboard to uh, get around that. Um, Shoni says, can we add more text day six to 10? Uh, yeah, by all means, do what you want. I just loaded up what was recommended in the shred system guide. And you know, you, you do your own thing past that for sure. But let's pick an image here. So you notice I've searched for image only. Let's pick an image. And then at the top here where it says, don't be afraid to fail image only, that is actually a link to the image itself. And so when we're, get, we're gonna go to the image itself and then tap and hold on it, and we're gonna save image, this saves it to our camera roll because again, there is no Instagram button, not because we don't want it, but because it doesn't exist. And so here's how to get around that. We've just saved the image to our camera roll. And now when you go to Instagram, and you're ready to create a post, then that image is right there in your um, camera roll, just like you know a picture would be. And then you can create your Instagram post however you want. So that's a pretty cool uh, feature that really just works on mobile. Okay, Shoni's asking, do you have the capability to load more in the soundboard? So. Um, I will, I'm going to defer to Brian Rose on that one and just see if there's other stuff that he wants us to do. But I did everything just based on the shred guide for now. But 
Uh, you as a soundboard user don't have the capacity to add things to the soundboard, if that's, if that's answering your question. Um, all right, well, uh, Kurt, do you have any thoughts here? I'm gonna, I wanna spend a moment on Buffer, but I wanna open the floor if you've got any thoughts or comments. I mean, I just think it's amazing that, you know, what y'all are doing from starting out with us originally a couple of years ago with Twitter only, mm -hmm. what we can do with Instagram and <clears throat> the texting from our mobile phones. Uh, I think all of it's amazing. The one thing that I would really just tell you is no matter how awesome this is and the automated, <clears throat> um, the automated nest, if that's a word, <laughs> Twitter sounds amazing. Um, I really would love to hear James talk a little bit about this because I really believe you still really have to personalize yeah. your social media journey. So <clears throat> think of it as amazing content that needs a personal touch. Yes. If you add a personal touch to it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to seem more like you doing it and it's going to seem more like yours. And that's where you're going to get the real response on social media. You know, you don't want to be someone who just fills social media with content. You want to engage. Mm -hmm. and, you know, it's kind of like information overload. Information is amazing if we use it wisely. But information is useless if we just pile it up. And so they've given us search tools and content to go and grab amazing stuff. But you do need a strategy. Can you just talk a little bit about that, James? Absolutely. Uh, and so, you know, what the important part of thinking through this and back to that, you know, that slide where you are a brand and you've got to learn how to tell us a good healthy living story. So much of that and back to that idea of how missional you all are is telling your story. I mean, I can't tell you how many times I heard incredible stories at, just at conference about just the benefits of people's lives changing and their families' lives changing. That's the story you want to tell. And this kind of content, Kurt is so right, cannot happen just on its own. Because if it does, you come across as a little bit of a robot. And we, we just don't have time on tonight to unpack every bit of this. But the an important aspect of of putting out content that is healthy living, you know, concentric, and then also putting your own story out there is also learning how to respond and converse with people that's very natural. And so that's just like every other aspect of our business. When we say the fortune is in the follow-up, that's what James is talking about. The fortune in using social media is in learning how to be an engaging person. Mm -hmm. uh, so real quick, I want to bring this up because I think it ties into what we're talking about here in saving you some time, okay? And, and I wanna give full credit to Kurt for this because uh, we were rebuilding the soundboard. You know, if you had signed up for the original version, which was launched over two years ago, it was Twitter only. And when we were working with corporate on what do people really want, Kurt said, y'all have got to add buffer functionality because it makes people's lives so easy. And since then I've jumped in with both feet and learned it inside and out because it's so incredible. But what it does is it lets you hook up your various social media channels to it, which is kind of a nice thing. But the killer feature is that it lets you schedule stuff out ahead of time. So when you talk about not being overwhelmed with social media, what, what I think Buffer and Soundboard do together, the one-two punch, is provide the content, Buffer lets you schedule it out ahead of time, and then you don't have to think about posting articles and stuff every day and you can use your daily social media mind share to be personal and to put out your, you know, day to day fun stuff with your family and that kind of thing, because this is going to take care of the articles and the videos and things like that. So you, you see, I've got my personal Facebook, my personal Twitter, my personal LinkedIn hooked up, but here's, here's where the killer feature comes in. When you come to soundboard, here's a great article, Mayo Clinic, eat well to age well. Buffer is a hugely popular choice, so we've got the button at the top here. You click this and it brings up your scheduler, okay? So you'll see I've got my Facebook, my, my Twitter, and my LinkedIn all ready to go. Well, that to me, this article is applicable on all three of those platforms because if you want to uh, age well, I mean, that's working people on LinkedIn need to know that. So I'm, I'm having to auto copy my text because for some reason, Buffer does not auto copy uh, the the text onto Facebook, okay? But I've got it ready to go out on Twitter. 
and here's it ready to go out on Facebook. Now, I will tell you all this, and we actually, Mayo Clinic is a client of ours, and we're working with them on this. This particular link does not have a good looking image, and this is something that Mayo knows. If you go visit this article, there's not going to be a picture on it, so all they've got is their logo, and they're working on this. You may or may not choose to send this out, but I'll go ahead and show you as an example. That's why there's no image here. Usually, you know, there's an image and a good looking uh, title. Anyway, the killer feature of Buffer here is we can schedule this to go out. Okay, we don't want to share it now. We don't want it to go now because then we got to do it again in the morning. So let's schedule this to go out. Typically, peak times for Facebook are about 6 to 8 a.m. and about 6 to 9 p.m. I want to be at the top of my audience's feed first thing in the morning. So I'm going to schedule this to go out tomorrow morning at about 6.40 a.m. So in just a couple of clicks, I now have my social media stuff taken care of for the morning. Okay, it's gonna take a moment to schedule it. It'll add it to our scheduler, and then it's gonna bring us back to the soundboard once it's queued up. But then you can, if you'll sit down for 15 minutes on a Sunday night, you'll go through find eight to 10 articles, schedule them out across five to six to seven days, and, and then you don't have to think about it again, okay? Now, your, your job after that is this. It is to stay tuned in to the notifications. I highly recommend you keep your notifications turned on on your phone. If you don't have the Twitter app, if you don't have the Facebook app on your phone, put them on there and turn the notifications on so that when your stuff gets light, and retweeted and people follow you this is where the conversation opportunities begin okay conversation or the soundboard throws out the conversation starter people react to it and then this is where you know it's on you to take the conversation and begin to interact with these people um, because we're throwing the bait out but you've got the fishing pole in your hand all right and so some proper etiquette here is if somebody follows you, we'll figure out who they are. I have followed Verna back before, or her followed her first. Uh, but if somebody follows you, you know, follow them back. Uh, if somebody likes something that you put out, we'll go figure out who they are. Now, of course, this is very concentrated juice plus, so I'm not trying to move product here but figure out something about them. Just look at their bio. So many people put their interest in the bio. You know, if somebody uh, likes something about, uh, so this person likes something about drinking water, you know, just tweet at Sarah and say, hey, did you finish your bottle of water before lunch today? You know, it, Twitter's super surface. It's easy, it's light. Um, but this is how you begin to engage with these people and start these conversations going so that um, so that real meaningful connection, connections can take place uh, because just posting stuff and then sitting back and saying, okay, here comes the business, it's going to pour in. It doesn't work that way. Um, but the whole goal of Soundboard is to get you 75 yards down the line, but you've got to take those, those final steps. Uh, you know, to punch it across the goal line with the connections and with the conversations that, that you can engage in. Um, so I know I've thrown a lot of information at you. Uh, there is, I'll put this up here. We do have a help center in Soundboard. We have a knowledge base. Um, so you can click on, on the icon up here and then our help center will take you there. Also, this little icon in the bottom is a chat window. You can talk to somebody uh, on my team or me is a lot of times the person on the other end of that. Uh, but also this is how to find us. So, you know, sign up for the soundboard, uh, email me, Vox me, anything that you need help with. Edge Theory is an official Juice Plus partner. We are providing the content, but we also want to be your educational resource. And this is something that uh, Janet Black and Meredith Martin from the home office and I are working on is trying to build out a really robust social media training uh, that can eventually live in the virtual office. That's where we're going. Uh, but for now, we've, we've given you the social 30. And, you know, uh, again, if there's some interest, you all talk about it, talk about it with your teams. 
I am happy to do a more in-depth series that will touch on soundboard here and there, but it's really how to run conversations, how to prospect, how to grow your business, all the I's you need to dot and T's you need to cross to make this thing go on these platforms. And so if there's some interest there, I would be more than happy to, to run that series. So if you have any questions, please drop them in the chat window. Um, okay, Rob likes Social 30, very cool. So, okay, Debbie, do you recommend sending a private message to everyone you get a notification from who starts following you on Twitter? Debbie, I'm so glad you brought that up. So last time I talked about this in one of these training calls, the person that I picked on was on the call and I felt really bad about it. So <laughs> if you're on the call, sorry. Uh, so direct messages on Twitter. It is the only place on Twitter that's truly private. Okay, it is like a text message. Um, and for you to get a direct message, you have to, people have to follow each other. But here's where I think there's 5,000 things to do this, 5,000 ways to do this wrong, and only a handful of ways to do this right. And what she's talking about is you can set up, there are a number of um, services that allow you to automatically send a private message to somebody when they follow you or like your stuff. To me, this comes across as very spammy um, and very uh, invasive. But I've been on Twitter a long time and I know that direct messages have been exploited for viruses and pornography. Okay, so I'm very suspicious of them already. But when you follow somebody and you get something like this, garden grow vertically if you're on the call, I'm sorry for picking on you. I, I don't trust these things. Um, this is a, a company called Community does this. Also a company called Crowdfire does this. You know, if you're in the grocery line and somebody sees your basket full of kale and Swiss chard and, you know, red onions, and they ask you, what are you making? You don't turn around and start talking to them about Juice Plus. Don't do the same thing on social media. You know, this just, it just comes across as, as reaching too hard. Um, and so I would say, I think it's a personally, it's a bad idea. Kurt, do you have any thoughts on that? Yeah, I mean, it's, I think it's a bad idea to do it robotically, but if you, if someone follows you and you know them or there's some kind of connection, then by all means, a personal direct message makes yes. sense. Yes. But um, I'd be selective and, you know, I've got, I don't know, thousands of followers and I by no means message everybody that's followed me, but I have messaged some of them. Yeah. You know, and so just be selective and right. if somebody you want to engage with, then write them a personal, well, you know, response, but don't, mm -hmm. don't have some kind of canned response you're sending out to everybody. Yeah, I agree. It just, I don't think it comes across well. So good thought there. And okay. a lot of people don't even check their direct messages to be honest with you. Yeah, it's true because it's full of stuff like that, yeah. you know, that I was showing you. I mean, there's some stuff in my inbox you couldn't, pay me $10 to click on it. Um, yeah, Shoni, that's right. So again, I love the thought there. The soundboard's designed to provide all of the, the big picture healthy living stuff. It's designed to free you up so that you have time to really converse with people and be yourself through these, these channels. And that's where the business growth is going to come uh, because that's where the freedom to to uh, you know, to just have easy conversations comes in because now you have the time and, and the bandwidth to do it. So very cool, glad you got that. All righty, well, Kurt, uh, a million thanks to, to yes, you, thank you for joining. And um, you know, let's just talk about a follow-up series if, if the interest is yeah, there. I, I think we'll do one of those uh, five or six part series. And next time we'll do it with no registration, make yeah. it easy on you guys. And um, we'll schedule it on nights that make really good sense, not so close to the end of the month and close out. And I know you guys were busy. Thanks for being on here and sacrificing your time. And hopefully you were blessed. Uh, James did an amazing job. So Thank thanks, you. James. I know you've got another call you got to go to. I do. I'm going to run that six week series for Jamie Kinsey and her team. All right. Well, be blessed. Okay. Thanks everybody. Kurt, I'm going to throw this on YouTube and send you the link here just okay. in a few minutes. All right. Thank you. Okay. Good night, everybody. See ya.